Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to add some obstacles and some rules in our mini golf game. So let's start. Here are the rules. We have only 5 strikes. The black obstacles block the ball and the blue obstacles slow down the ball. That's it. Let's add the obstacles. So drag an image sprite and upload an image. We want only the black color, so upload any image including the black rectangle. Let's change the height and width. Change it according to your will. Ok, looks good. Now let's drag it here. Maybe here. Ok. Let's rename our object to obstacle. And let's feed some code. Now let's add a collide with event. Then our obstacle collide with our ball. Let's set the heading of the ball to 0 minus the heading of the ball. Here you go. Okay. Let's check. Yeah, it works properly. We want an if condition to check if the speed is lesser than 1. Because we want to set we can only flung the ball if the ball is lesser than speed 1. Ok now let's add a label for the total number of strikes and we want to arrange it in a horizontal arrangement Ok Let's rename our label to strikes. Uh, now 
if you want to initialize a variable named strikes to zero we want to increment the strikes by 1 when the ball flung We want to reset the strikes when the reset button clicks okay also enable our ball when the reset button clicks we can limit our strikes by including an if condition to check whether the strikes are less than 6 Let's give some space between these. So let's add a label. And set that to fit parent. Let's check. Also, we want to set the label text to the get global strikes. Let's add one more obstacle. So, follow the same steps. Okay, now let's give the board. Before that, we want to rename our image sprite to obstacle 2. Instead of repeating, let's duplicate this block and change this. Okay, now let's add our blue object, drag an image sprite and upload a blue rectangle image. This sprite have some different code. Before that, let's rename our image sprite. Let's give the name water. Okay. When water collide with the other, decrease the speed of our ball by 0.5.
let's check maybe we should decrease some more so let's decrease by 3 ok let's check I think it's ok let's drag a notifier for notifying when the strikes are over Let's log a warning. Ok let's check Maybe let's use a message Ok, now let's test, oh there is some problem with that, let's fix that, maybe we should fix that. Let's set the global strikes to 0. it was but we can move the ball after the limit so let's fix that let's hide the canvas after the limit and reset it when the reset button clicked or when the screen initializes let me show you Ok that's enough for today, in our next video we are going to add some levels and some finishing words, see you next time.